and we have more than one way to make imperfection thing. And now let's take a look. Let's look better, right? And we got the glossy with the imperfection. Hello everyone, today let's talk about the material and the imperfection. So what is the imperfection and why is important? So let's make it simple. I got the teapot here and right now it's in the perfection condition. But if we use the modified light noise and let's wait me set up a little bit. And now let's take a look. It look better, right? And this is the imperfection. And because everything in real life always have some imperfection on itself, and or I see it every day. So if we don't bring this thing in our render, or I will know it. Maybe some change is very small, and you can see, but you still can feel it. I got some glass in here, and I already set up the caustic effects on them. Let's make the render. It looks good, right? But if now we make some change, one more time I use the noise modify I do it before. And you can see, if I don't tell you I use this one, I think we don't even not stick this this chain. But let's make the render. We can see the chain right here, but just wait a little bit longer. And now this here all caustic. It's far more better, right? Sometimes the chain is small, but the small thing can make your render different with another. And we have more than one way to make imperfection thing. Right now I got this chair, a leather chair. And this is all my stereo setup. One color in the diffuse and three blacks and white map in the reflection, glossy and bump. And let's change this one to a fingerprint. And we got the glossy with the imperfection. This is better, right? Or we can use a scrap. And if the effect is too strong, we just need to lower this value. And we're done. And if it's still not enough for you, we can add more than one. Which make, we can make the fingerprint and this scrap. and see how it look. And if you don't want to make all these things in the glossy, you still can use the same workflow. And maybe a diffuse. Let's try it. First we still need the two colors. We already have a black one. Let's make another. Use me. And this is color one. This is color two. And we also need the mask. I use this card one again and this is what we got. It's easy right? And like I said, we have more than one way to make this imperfection. So if you want to make it some bump, we can do this too. Let's use a normal map. I use the wing call normal. That's why we set up a little bit. And this is what we got. And this is when we don't have a bump in perfection. And this is when we have a ladder bump. And this is when we update it with the imperfection. And you don't need to update the imperfection for all of these stuff. The diffuse, the reflect, the glossy and the bump. This makes your material look very messy and very hard when you do a teamwork. Just imagine. You have 10 material like this on your render. And all this you use mix in every tab in here. And every time your partner maybe he take a day off and you open the file and you see this. Personally, I don't want to see this. So just pick the only one or maybe two tab you want to add this and you're good to go. This makes your material be very easy to control. To modify for everyone and this is all i want to share with you guys today i hope you like it and see you guys in another video